What's up YouTube? Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so we can move the chains. Today, we're talking about the XFL broadcast. Will it be better than the Alliance of American Football? Now, the AAF struggled broadcasting. I mean, they weren't given the best teams. We had some cringy commentary from Rod Woodson. And then Maurice Jones-Drew and Marvin Lewis just were not cutting it. And you, you hope that the XFL has better production and quality than the AAF had. So, let's get into it. What does the XFL bring to the table when it comes to broadcasting? So it started off with the Fox crew, and also I made a video already covering how to watch these games, and you should probably watch that if you haven't, because it'll tell you how to watch all the XFL games throughout the season. But Fox and Fox Sports 1 will have games. So Kurt Menefee is on that Fox crew. He is Fox NFL Sunday, and he's going to bring his NFL wisdom, and he gives the XFL a big-time feel. He's a great commentator. And with him is Joel Klatt, college football analyst, very good at what he does. He's great at breaking down plays and film, and I think that this crew will bring a nice mixture of NFL and college knowledge to give viewers different perspectives on the XFL and the differences between the NFL and college. And obviously, you know, these guys are trying to get to uh, get to the NFL, so I'm happy to see this crew. The other Fox crews haven't been announced yet, but we were this close to having legendary Gus Johnson, and the scheduling just didn't work out for him because he had college basketball. It's a shame. I would have loved to see him in some XFL games, but I would also like to see Brady Quinn on an XFL crew because his knowledge of the game and his insights would be interesting. You know, a guy who's played in the NFL, he played for Notre Dame. I think Brady Quinn would be a great addition. Let me know what you think down below. Now, ESPN and ABC also have XFL games. And ESPN is different because they have their full teams planned out. So, let's take a look at ESPN. Steve Levy, Diana Rossini, Tom Luganville, Greg McElroy will be on the XFL kickoff and the Saturday Slate matchups on ESPN and ABC. Levy has been on ESPN for a while and is one of the top college football announcers, so that's great that ESPN is putting their best foot forward for the XFL. Diana Rossini covers the NFL on ESPN. You see her a lot on Sundays. Tom Luganville is the National Recruiting Director at ESPN, so it's likely that he'll know many of these players and he's going to already have watched their film. So. I'm excited to see what Tom Luganville has to say. He also has expertise on mechanics and technique, so he should make the broadcast interesting. Greg McElroy, former Alabama quarterback who works mostly for the SEC Network, he brings his playing experience and understanding of schemes to the table. I really enjoy watching Greg McElroy break down defenses and offenses. On Sundays, Tom Hart, Joey Galloway, and Pat McAfee will be on the call. Tom Hart announces for the SEC Network and does the primetime game on Saturdays. Joey Galloway covers college football on ESPN. He's announced a couple games and he also makes frequent appearances on college football shows like the college football playoff show. And finally, Pat McAfee will be on the sideline and this is probably what I'm most excited for. He has unprecedented access to coaches, players, and referees, basically anything you can think of during the XFL games. He can be inside huddles, he can be next to coaches asking what their strategy is, and he can also talk to refs asking about calls, getting insight, and I think he's going to make the game seem interesting, maybe during down points when they're doing a review, something like that. He can talk to players, ask for their opinions, so it'll give the viewers much more to watch for, and I'm really excited for this. This is something new that we haven't really seen before. It's a great way to get more insight on the game. Also, McAfee is hilarious and his YouTube show is outstanding. And he has, he's just got this great likable personality that we're going to see on the field during the XFL games. Now, if you watch the Alliance of American Football, the best thing about the broadcast was the replay official. Now, if you're not familiar with this, whenever a play was being reviewed or coach challenges, we got to see the replay official go through the process of overturning or making a change to a call. And it was very exciting because lots of times if you think about during a football game, it gets kind of boring listening to what the announcer thinks about the play. We got to get an actual insight view on the play from referees and the replay official. 
Now, not only is this important for the viewer's understanding of the call, but it's very entertaining. So I think the XFL should adopt this, and this transparency was something that all football leagues should have to adopt. So let me know what you think about that down below. Do you think we should add that to the XFL? What do you want to see from the XFL on TV? Please let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains.